what's going on guys tonight I'm here in New Boston Michigan and I'm gonna investigate the cemetery um, I discovered this place last year when I was exploring this park and I came down this trail and I discovered the cemetery so tonight I'm gonna um, set up the ghost box and see if I could communicate with the, the people that are buried here well I came here about five times already because I wanted to get the best footage I can you know for this video but every time I came here something went wrong it was just the footage was too dark and I wasn't happy with the quality so I'm here again tonight and this is my last time and I'm shooting this banger for you guys so if you're new to the channel please like and subscribe you know show your support join the afterlife army I appreciate you guys and all my followers on Instagram you guys are awesome thank you for the continuous support well I was trying to find history on this place but I couldn't find any website besides this one this lady posted just pictures of the cemetery and she didn't even know anything about it so she just took pictures of all the graves that are here and she posted them on her website so it's just really strange I can't find anything you know about this cemetery like any history behind it but that's okay I'm just here to capture evidence for you guys so I'll see you guys when I make it onto the trail Alright guys, we are at the cemetery right now. I'm just going to show you guys these gravestones and the names of the people that were buried here. I apologize about the background music guys. There was a loud party going on in the distance so I didn't want it to ruin the video for you guys with all the music is. playing in the background. So I thought I'd let you guys know ahead of time. Clara Myron Okay, 1845 to 1926 Okay, let's check these ones out Super old look at this Some things are just really hard to tell what they say Probably been sitting here a very long time. Okay, here's another one. Jonathan Fay, born January 28th, 1795. Wow, guys. Died December 26, 1883. It's crazy. And there's like a trail right there. Okay. Look at these guys. They don't even have names on them. They're like so old. Here goes another one. And I know there's one back here, but there's no like tombstone. Just like a cross and some fake flowers. This place is just surrounded by woods. There's another one, guys. Looks like two people were buried here. Ellen, 1860, 60 to 1900, 1860 to 1942. A few older ones sitting here. Can't really make out what it says.
That's a new one. It looks like it's been capped up with Sherman Rice. January 10th, 1844 to May 12th, 1922. Aurelia Rice, 1849 to 1929. Benjamin S. Rice, August 28, 1884 to September 12, 1943. It says Mother Margaret Hale, 19, no, 1822 to 1894 and you got two back here one's in the ground Anna Let's see what this is. I don't want to get my hands all dirty it just rained well she died in 1911 and then you got this one way in the back here can't really tell what it says I think it says Father Amos A. Hill, 1821 to 1894. Oh, that is creepy. This one's just hidden off in the woods. Okay, here's Gottlieb Tischhasser, <laughs> can't really pronounce that, 1860 to 1925. Nicholas Graydon, 1825 to 1912, and his wife was buried here too, 1846 to 1925. This one is really hard to see. to 1940 can't really see that one too well 1885 to 1920 granddad Edward August Woolfield 1890 to 1978 and Judith Gale Watson, beloved wife, loving mother, and grandmother, 1940 to 2005. Mary R. Sparrow, 1878 to 1935. William Sparrow, 1869 to 1933. Looks like another, you know, Sparrow here, so had to have been family. It's really dark here, guys. Really small. Gravestone right there. And one right there. It's hard to tell on camera. Because it gets darker when I walk into the woods. Alright, here's a few here, guys. Some more older ones. And that one just looks like a, a brick buried into the ground and they turned it into like a gravestone. There's just another small one. There's another old one. Can't really tell what that says. It's hard to make out too. I know you guys can't probably see what this says, but it says Frank H. Downs, 1858 to 1932. Must have been his wife here. Cynthia J. Downs, 1859 to 1947. Looks like 
maybe two here. There's like half of them right there. This one looks really new, but based on the years they were they passed away. It's not. Somebody in the family must have came out here and replaced the stone. It must have been very old and somebody could have destroyed it or could just been really old and just chipping away. So Grubba it says August 1855 to 1947, Marie 1862 to 1947. Look at this one. Oh, it's like cracked in half. All I can read off of this is son of Pero. That's what it says. But it could have said son of Sparrow. Samuel Smith, 1843 to 1906. And I think it says Ida, his wife, 1861 to 1940. It's a Smith time. Okay, there's a American flag here, so I'm guessing maybe it could have been a veteran. Jess H. Hale, COD, for abbreviation Michigan okay INF so guess an infantry okay Seton Williams D Rose M 1854 to 1929 1968 to 1932 okay this one just says mother and this one over here says father I mean, it could have been a family buried in the same part, I'm guessing. I mean, it seems like they try to keep the families together, which is nice to be buried by each other. This one says Andrew. All I can see is C. German. September. Um, 8th, I believe, 1891 to May 10th, 1920. There we go. That one says John R. I think Hobert. Can't tell when he was born and when he died. Min, Mintani, Mintani. Okay. And there's like a, there's like a book up here. It's pretty cool. Mother Mary Alice, 1863 to 1940. Father Charles S. 1859 to 1911. Daughter Nina, 1896, age 21 days. That's all it says there. Another old one, guys. Laura A. Germain. German. 1886 or 18. 
1970. See, a lot of these have moss, you know, growing over them. James V. Root, 1807 to 1888. Fanny B., his wife, 1821 to 1894. Got a really small one right here. Don't think I could read off of it as H. And you got these old ones way in the back. You guys probably can't see them. It just says father on one and then mother on another one. And look at this one. This one's broken half. And then there's a small room behind it. Looks like a part of an old stone that was here. It might have broken off. says mother can't really tell what that last name is but um 1856 to 1893 this one's pretty bold and sticks out wag wagar that one you can't read it's broke Harrison W. So must be your last name. Wagar. There's another one, guys. 1871 to 1951. And then there's part of one, and it has just the W on it. This is Frankie. Doesn't say when he was born and died. Harry, same thing. George, same thing. And Alford. Alford. Oliver B. 1831 and 1916. And Mary Eliza. 1846 to 1884. In memory of Mary A. Laura, age 32 years. And then there's Anna Hostick, age 23 years. Wow, really young. Hey, everybody. Who's here with me? Speak into that black box with the red light. What is your name? How many spirits are here with me right now? Who's here with me? Go to that green light and um, raise up the bar for me. Do you want me to leave? Well, 
I'm leaving, guys. Goodbye. Am I welcome here? What is your name? Any spirits here with me? How many kids are buried here? How many spirits are here with me? Did I hear 40? Is there a life after death? Bye, everybody. If you guys made it to the end of this video, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Afterlife Adventure. Peace.